Hi, and welcome to this week's Help Desk with Joe, and with me as always, Joe! We're here. We're here. We're doing another episode, and again, uh, focusing on things that make people's lives better, either by protecting them, helping them protect their stuff, and or making their lives more efficient through technology. Right. Or saving a little money while along the way. That's a, always a good one. That's right. That <laughs> probably should have been first. It's helping people save money. Right. Uh, but today you're working on issues uh, between two different systems. So let's talk a little bit about that, what the topic is today. Okay. This is the last episode of our series of moving over from iPhone to Android. So today's issue we're addressing people that used to contact you going from iOS to device to iOS device sending you through the iMessage. Right. And now you, they try to send you a text through on your new Android phone, it airs out. And you're ignoring them. Exactly. Because you're just not getting a message. Exactly. Okay. Although I might be actually getting a message, but we'll just blame it on the phone. There you go. That's a nice <laughs> scapegoat. There you go. Um, so the process is when you use iPhone to iPhone, you have a specific message. Yeah. Explain that a little bit. Why, why is it special? Well, if you have an iPhone and you notice that you text some people, it sends us a green message, and then you text some other people, it sends a blue message. The blue message, it goes through what they call iMessage, which is an Apple mm. pro 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 program that runs into yep. their operating system. So it'll contact any other Apple device, whether it be from iPhone to iPad or an iPod or anything like that. Now, if the that's the blue message. The right. green message sends it out as a standard text message. Okay. And then if you uh, are in the boat you're in, mm -hmm. you switch from iPhone to Android. Right. None of my what family can contact at? me. <laughs> right. Now you're stuck. So Cena's on one side of the house trying to contact you and it's just not going through and you pretend like you didn't get it anyway. Exactly. But in reality, that's the hang-up. So how do you fix this? Okay. The first, well, actually, it's not something that you need to fix on your phone. It's what everybody else needs to do to fix it. Ah, okay. So kind of a backwards deal. Right. So if you have an iPhone and you run into this issue with a person that's converted over to Android, the first thing you need to do is go to your settings, which we have a screenshot here. And you need to go to the messages button there that looks like your regular text message tab. Once you go inside, you know, you'll see your iMessage, which is turned on by default, which is green. And where the red arrow is, you need to sit, turn on the send as SMS. That turns on your text messaging feature. As you can see, there's a disclaimer sending as SMS. When iMessage is unavailable, carrier charges may apply. What that means is if you have a, ex a certain set amount of text messaging, that will go towards your bank amount of per month. If you have unlimited texting, it's not an issue. Right. And so that basically it's in-house messaging that doesn't cost you anything as long as it's between iPhone to iOS product. device to iOS. Yeah. Right. Apple device to okay. Apple device. All right. But if you have to switch it over, you have to switch it over. Right. How often is this an issue with folks that have phones? Do they, or is it pretty commonplace that people are aware of what's going on with their messaging or is that why you get an iPhone, for instance? I have Android, so I'm not really familiar with it, but Right. Well, some people are converting over to Apple Messaging so they can contact to their people without having to use their text messaging, which is really, which is a kind of a nice feature. Let me ask it a different way. Is that a default setting that all iOSs are automatically on that? Yeah. Default? Starting with, with I believe is iOS six, maybe iOS. Yeah, I think it was iOS six. Apple added that feature on as a okay. free add-on where you could contact any other Apple device without having to. Right. Okay. So use people may messaging. have that on and not know it. And then right. It comes on by default. So. Okay. All right, well, uh, how hard of a fix is that? I mean, it, you had two screens, pretty simple. How would they know? Would they start receiving messages at that point or getting messages? Yeah, well, if you try, like if someone tried to text me from their iPhone and they contacted me before when I had my iPhone and it starts airing out, well, that's the first sign. They'll see it on their side as an error. Yeah, it'll say uh, failed to send. Okay, all right, so then the person sent it knows. Right. Okay, well, that sounds like a pretty easy fix and uh, you've made it real simple with the slides, so right. you and beat that. You know, I could tell Susan, right, because most of my family tried to contact me and nobody could get a hold of me. So <laughs> I'd call them and say, okay, go Joe's to this setting. On vacation. Exactly. <laughs> so I said, go to this setting, turn it on, and then all of a sudden everything started flowing. Started flowing. So. And does it make up for the backlog of messages you didn't get or are they already lost? It? Well, all they have to do is tap the message on the phone and hit resend. And then it'll go after So that. what happens when you hit send on the phone that you're used to contacting me with, it'll try to send it as blue, then all of a sudden it'll flip, flip to green. green. So. Okay. Pretty simple fix for what could be a pretty big problem. Right. So uh, that's always good to know. And then again, uh, if you have any other issues, go back through our previous shows or get a hold of Joe. Right. Or Cena. There you go. Either way. All right. Uh, if someone is afraid to go into the message or just not sure, 
uh, whatever the case may be, and they need help with this. Uh, how do they get a hold of you? you give us a call at our offices at 304-927-3588. Check out our website at amdigitaltechnologies.com or be like Dave and check and like our Facebook page. I like the Facebook page. Awesome. It, yeah, everybody uses Facebook now. You guys have those daily specials that yes. pop up every day. I drool over them and wish I had more money. You well, probably wish I had more money too. Exactly. Well, the lottery's up here, so maybe you win it tonight. I played the lottery this week. There you go. It was a no-go, so... Uh, I'm still back to, I'll make it on my wish list. But yeah, get a hold of these folks, a and Digital Technology, sponsoring all our patch programs, converting all our shows over to podcasts, YouTube, the Ustream, YouTube, the whole gamut. It's hard, it's hard to get away from us. It is hard <laughs> to get away from you. It's all right, you guys are doing a good job. And again, look back through the past shows, save yourself some money. First of all, you know, and if you need to order anything technology-wise, A&M Digital Technologies uh, here local in Spencer. And then uh, protect yourselves. Last couple of shows have been on ways to protect yourselves against those scams that are going around. Right. So make sure you're aware of uh, the newest and latest and, uh, and how to protect yourself. And if you ever have any questions about any technology needs or anything in general, call Joe or Cena at A&M Digital Technologies. Or if they're, if they're checking out on YouTube, make a comment below our yeah, video. And we love hearing uh, feedback from our viewers. And if you submit a question that way and we like it, we'll give you something free. So there you go. I always like giving stuff away. Cena doesn't I know, so you much, give away but, a lot you know, of good stuff. What if I send it out to him? She doesn't know anything. That's that's all right. I won't tell her. <laughs> I agree. I won't say a word either. All right. All right. Well, thank you. And that's this week's show. With us as always, Joe with AM Digital Technologies and Cena behind the scenes. And uh, we'll be back next week with a new topic. Or as Joe said, if you have any questions, send it in to him either Facebook, phone, or by email, and uh, get you on the show and get you some free products. There you go. All right. Well, thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you. See you next week. And that's Joe's help desk of this week. Thank you. <laughs>